there's a few reasons why it was so important. There was a big curve south of the river that you had a lot of accidents on. Uh, didn't quite meet our geometric standards any longer. We reconfigured some air changes. It was a little dangerous uh, with vehicles that are in exiting or some quick merges. Safer access. There's there's a short ramp merge coming off of South Avenue. Uh, better capacity. Just safer. Toledo E was the last of nine projects to increase the capacity on I-75 from Finley all the way up to the Ohio-Michigan state line. This was the last and largest of those nine projects. The bridge was a big one. We avoided building a big fill on top of the, some of that terrible soil, eliminated a bridge. It was about $2 million savings for really not some different unknown soils that nobody in the state had really dealt with before um, near the river that we did deal with. The Maumee River, there was certain times when we could move our causeway due to fish spawning. So from April 15th through July 1st, we were not allowed to do anything in the river. Our drilled shafts were going a little deep, so there's a lot of cost if they go deep because you have to add on to the rebar and such. So in the phase two, we made everything three foot longer to try to eliminate the, any delays in the project or any extra costs. Yeah, one of the biggest issues we had right off the bat, we ended up not being able to get a flagman from CSX, which precluded us from being able to do any of that bridge work and complete that work. Had the potential to add a year to this project. It's so with ODOT and we're able to come up with a plan that allowed us to keep the job on schedule. The Maumee River is a big tourist and a big economic driver in the area. A lot of people come from all over the United States to fish for walleye. And so we had to keep a good portion of the river open for the walleye to spawn in and out. They were excellent to work with. We worked on hood out projects pretty much exclusively for the last 25 years. And this is one of the best teams I've ever worked with. Everybody really uh, started off the project with a mindset that put the project first. Everybody's kind of came in with that attitude. And now I know the project, um, I feel pretty smooth. Yeah, the partnering on this project was, was really exceptional. Uh, and that started from the very beginning, really, with the lines of communication uh, being open, everybody being on the same page. Sometimes early notices went in on this project months, even years in advance of potential issues that we saw, which allowed ODOT and their project team and our people to sit down and hash through those and really come up with the best solutions for the job. They worked really well together. Project engineer Mike Benton, he held just short of 100 progress meetings over the five years. And so every couple of weeks we were getting together to get the job done. We're going to probably be within 5% um, of the original $108 million bid, which is also, I think, pretty impressive. You know, you're talking about a project that's almost $200 million that involves a major river crossing uh, in deep water. Uh, to stay on budget and on schedule, which is really rather remarkable for a project of this size and its scope and duration, quite honestly.